Alright guys, so patch 1.5 is shaping up to be an amazing patch overall with brand new characters dropping, brand new events, and things of that nature. I'm super excited for it and I know many of you are as well, but in today's video, what I wanted to talk about in particular was Zhongli's rerun banner. The reason being is because I wanted to predict and kind of theorize on who may be coming alongside Zhongli himself. People are really anticipating Zhongli coming back and I know a lot of people missed out on him when he first came around and understandably so because he wasn't the most well received 5 star character in the game and I know a lot of people waited to see what other uh, content creators were going to say about Zhongli and it wasn't all the best things so people skipped out and thought Zhongli was not that great. Turns out he's actually absolutely fantastic and in my opinion if you've seen any of my videos speaking about Zhongli I find him to be arguably the best character in the game because of his kit, his utility and how he fits on every single team comp and then he got a buff and he just became even that much better where he is, I think, undoubtedly the best character in the game. I know people will argue that and people will debate that, and, and rightfully so. There are other great characters, but I think it's just so hard to argue against Zhongli with his shield, uh, with his pillar, with his uh, elemental burst damage. He's just an absolutely fantastic character, and he's just so good for your team. So I know a lot of people were anticipating for him to come back and we're really excited to hear that he got a rerun and they are going all in for this character and rightfully so I think you should now in my opinion I think Zhongli's rerun banner has the opportunity to be the best banner in terms of value that we've had to date and we're going to talk about that here in just a second but what I first want to go ahead and discuss is his banner when he was first here or the first time that he dropped in the game of Genshin Impact. So you had Zhongli himself, of course, and then you had a brand new four star in Xinyan, and then you have Chongyun and Razor, which were all Claymore users, so people were not too happy about that. But we had a really good four star in Xinyan. I think she still is an absolutely fantastic four star because she provides a shield, she's Pyro, she's Claymore, she's fantastic, and she fills a lot of gaps that people may have in their teams. Chongyun, everybody knows is really great um, absolutely fantastic character and Razor is a good DPS but I think Razor has fallen off tremendously uh, as we progress through the game but I still like my boy Razor and I still think he's great and viable and usable but definitely has fallen off and that's just because of the direction the game has been going as of late but of course Zhongli himself an amazing character and like I mentioned I think is the best character in the game so his banner was pretty good his banner was not bad at all so when Zhongli was first dropped pretty decent banner not bad at all in comparison if you look at others were not bad I have to say though this Albedo banner was pretty spicy now that we know truly how good Albedo is I think he was tremendously underrated at the time including myself I was underrating him but this Albedo banner was fantastic. But in comparison to the others, not a bad banner at all. Now, who do I believe will be coming alongside Zhongli on this rerun banner? Well, we all know that Yanfei is coming. And Yanfei is shaping up to be a fantastic 4-star. I think I'm going to do a separate video on her skills and what she's bringing to the table. But she is a Pyro Catalyst user. We know that much. And that is fantastic. I know that's going to fill a lot of holes for people's teams because of her being pyro is always super valuable and then another catalyst but her gameplay specifically allows her to be very versatile and once again i'll talk about her more in a separate video more dedicated to her and her skills going over that as a whole but she's looking really good as a good four star pyro character which is very interesting because it's another brand new four star pyro character much like Yan was but of course there's differences there but who are the other two characters that are going to be coming alongside Zhongli? Well, if we take a look at what we had so far from when Zhongli was released, and probably we'll go more recently on what we have right now. So we have Barbara, Fischl, and Rosaria on Child's Banner or Tartaglia's Banner that we have right now. So we can rule those three out because they're not going to be coming back that fast. And then we just had Noel, Sucrose, and Razor. Now, I won't totally rule out Noelle because there's a possibility that she, she could be coming back. And I think she is one of the characters that will be coming back alongside Zhongli. 
because and the reason why I say this is because miHoYo likes to put a consolation prize for if you don't obtain the main character so what do I mean by that well if we take a look at Venti's banner you have Venti and for whatever reason let's say you don't pull Venti and you get super salty well there's a good opportunity that you pull sucrose right it's a consolation prize it's like okay you didn't get venti but you got another really good nmo cc -er type of character that's very similar to venti and is still a really good character overall so you can utilize sucrose if you didn't get venti it's like a consolation prize let's move over to hu tao you didn't pull hu tao you dumped a uh, bunch of uh primos trying to obtain hu tao you didn't get hu tao you're super salty well mihoyo thinks well hey you got a really, or most likely, you got a really good Pyro Polearm user in Xiong Ling. Just use Xiong Ling. It's a good consolation prize, right? <laughs> so you can see how they kind of do that as like a consolation prize if you didn't get the character. Or here you go with Tartaglia. You didn't get um, Tartaglia, but you got a bow user in Fischl. You got a uh, Polearm user in Rosaria. Brand new four star. So that's a consolation. You got a brand new four star. If you didn't get Tartaglia, so don't be salty. <laughs> and then you got Barbara for your Hydro, so um, you can compensate for that. So you see how they like to put little consolation prizes in there for you. So I think Noel would be that consolation prize if you don't pull Zhongli this time around. They're like, okay, you didn't get Zhongli, but you got another Geo user that can put up a shield and do some tankiness for you and it's not Zhongli but it's it's good enough right it's good enough <laughs> wink wink so they like to do that they like to put little consolation prizes on their banner so I think Noel has a good opportunity to come back now the other characters well we already mentioned Yanfei as the other one so the last one that I'm thinking if we're taking a look back at what we have here um Barbara once again has been there. Ning Wang. They've thrown Bennett at us multiple times. They got Chong Yun and Xing Cho once again. So, and then here on Xiao's banner, they have Xin Yan, Diona, and Beto. If we go a little further back to Gan Yu's, Xing Lang, or Shagling, excuse me, Xing Cho and Noel again. So, I'm thinking it's going to be Diona. And so, the reason why I say Diona, because once again, that consolation prize of having another shield character. But Diona we're also going to be getting for free in patch 1.5 if I'm not mistaken. So this will allow you to either get a constellation or more constellations on her. And she is another character that can provide a shield, healing. It's just more of that supporty type of role um, that Zhongli also fills for a lot of teams. So I think Diona may be a good candidate to be on Zhongli's rerun banner. Now, if that is the case, if we have Yanfei, a brand new four-star Pyro Catalyst user, who I think is going to be amazing, and then we have Noel, who is a really good Geo Shield user, has some supporting capabilities, and can do some pretty decent damage herself, and we have Diona, who I think is one of the better four-stars in the game, being able to provide a shield, cryo, and be able to do healing. I think that is, and then Zhongli himself, how good he is, I think his rerun banner, if that is what we have as in terms of characters i think that has the makings of being one of the best if not the best banners that we've had investment wise in a really long time i would say since probably man that albedo banner spicy <laughs> i never truly knew how we well we all knew the four stars on there were absolutely fantastic and then i underrated how good albedo is or was at the time that Albedo banner is probably one of the best banners I've seen. <laughs> if I'm just, if I'm going back, it's one of the best banners. Probably that was the most worth investing banner to go in on. The Ganyu banner is not bad as well. But yeah, this Zhongli rerun banner has the opportunity. The shop banner wasn't bad either. But the Zhongli rerun banner has the opportunity to be one of the best investment banners that you can go ahead and put primos into. If those are the characters that will be on there now of course this is just speculating and theorizing so it can definitely be different it can definitely be totally other characters and I could be completely off here but that is just my thoughts that is just what I'm thinking and I would love to uh, get your guys's thoughts down in the comments below 
Also, really quickly, did want to mention a massive shout out to Kurugani in my Discord, as well as some additional information from Genshin Intel. I will leave their Discord link in the description down, or not Discord, their Twitter link down in the description below as well, just as information to kind of go off of and to de determine what type of characters might be on here. But anyways, guys, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Let me know in the comments down below what characters you think will be on Zhongli's rerun banner. And let me know who do you want to be on Zhongli's rerun banner. And let me know if you're pulling as well. Anyways, I'm going to get out of here. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you liked what you saw. If you did, make sure you drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. I'm going to get out of here. Remember to stand out, be different, have fun, go further beyond in everything that you do. And until next time, my boys, until next time, it's your homie Cody GT. And I'm out. Bye, guys.